Hi guys. So we're going to review um, solving equations today. So just a really quick lesson and then um, I'll uh, have you do a quick assignment for me over this. Okay. I promise you'll be really, really easy. Okay. So we're going to we're going to solve this equation. The first thing we need to do, if you remember, is we want to distribute. We want to get rid of those parentheses. So we're going to take the 6 and we'll distribute it into these parentheses. We'll take the 3 and distribute it into these parentheses. This 1 and this 10 don't get multiplied because they are not inside parentheses at all. Okay. So 6 times D, we end up with 6D. 6 times 2, we get a plus 12. And then we bring this plus 1 down. Okay, he's going to come hang out because he was there and he's got to stay with us. Equals, and now we'll take the 3 and we'll multiply that. So 3 times 4D is going to give us 12D. 3 times negative 5 will give us a negative 15. And we'll bring the plus 10 down because he was hanging out and we don't want to leave him behind. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to combine those like terms we're going to combine like terms on each side. So we're going to kind of treat each side as its own separate thing. Okay, if you remember. So this 12 and this 1, we'll add those together. So over here, we're going to have 6D plus 13. And we're going to take this negative 15 and this positive 10 and put those together. So negative 15 plus 10, we end up with... 12d minus 5. Okay. Now that we've got both sides completely simplified, we are going to just start moving things across. And remember, when we move things across the equal sign, that's where we change signs on stuff. Okay. I want to move this 13 to that side. So I'm going to subtract 13 from here so that this zeroes out. But that means I have to subtract 13 from here, from this 5 also. Because what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So now I have 6D equals 12D minus 18. Now I want to move this 12D to that side. So we're going to take minus 12D here. So that zeroes out. And then we'll subtract 12D on this side. So we get negative 6D equals negative 18. The last thing that we have to do is just get this D by itself. We want to divide by negative 6. Remember, in order to solve our equation, we always do, once we get to the solving part of it, we're always going to do the opposite of what it says because we want to undo the operations that got us into that equation to begin with. So these cancel out. So we have 1D. Negative 18 divided by negative 6. Well, the two negatives are going to give us a positive. And 18 divided by 6 is going to be 3. So our final answer is D equals 3. If you remember, kind of right up to this point, this was a simplify phase. We had to simplify each side. And then below that, this was the solve phase. That's where we started doing things that were opposite. Okay. So we followed PEMDAS order up here. And then down here, we go backwards through PEMDAS. Okay. So my West Warriors, your assignment is copy these notes down. Copy this problem down. Copy the notes down. Put your name up here in the corner and the class period. Okay. If you're second, fifth, uh, sixth, seventh, whatever class period you're in, put your name in the period. Take a picture of this and upload it to your team's class. Okay. So, um, that's all I need you to do. And guess what? That's your grade for the week. All right. Easiest grade you're going to have today. All right, guys. 
I will talk to you later. See you in video chat.